Okay, here we are at Clark Auction. It's a wonderful soft day, as we'd say in Ireland. It's absolutely piddling rain. Anyway, we're going to start off with some stuff that came out of Boonton, New Jersey and New Rochelle. We have this wonderful large sculpture here of a nude man. Look, he's got a nice little flower there in front. This is side, but beautiful, beautiful quality. Look at the ribs and the, uh, the body work on that, well executed. We've got a lot of nice outdoor cast iron, came from Boonton, New Jersey. In the back, you'll see a pair of stone or sort of pottery faux bois chairs. Back in the sale because some consigner figured they were too much to ship where he had to go. We've got nice trees around there. We've got a nice figural bird bath, bronze bird bath. These are a very nice pair of urns. Probably Victorian, nice cast on the base with the patent on them and everything. And from New Rochelle, we have this good looking couple here. We talk with them every night before we head off. Life size, nicely executed. Nice on the classical sort of bases there. Age-wise, I don't know, but they're nicely done. Nice pair of urns. Okay, we're gonna head inside now. We are loaded again, over nearly 600 lots. Okay, we have a pair of these. These are contemporary, but they're very nicely upholstered, sort of in the style of Arnie Jacobs and egg chairs. We have a pair of these, newer from Araya State, probably sort of Parzinger style, but a new set on a nice chrome base. We have this wonderful sideboard, nicely fluted wood, metal base on it. Atop this, a very large Seb's urn. Look at the size of that. Artist signed, good big size. Here we have this nice French leather top desk. Watch me pick the wrong side. No, it opens at this size. Look for a signature, couldn't find it, but it should be there. Once again, C-L-A-R-K-E-N-Y, come to the previews three days before. Nice, wide, comfortable pair of Louis XV style chairs. Over here, a pair of articulated Asian uh, stands, hardwood stands, nice marble insert, but nice work on them. Nice patina. And from Greenwich, look at the thick rouge marble on this wonderful Greek key, wonderful bronze gilding, nice patina on this uh, Louis Philippe cabinet. Over here from the same place, a bomb Louis XV style. Nice thick marble, age-wise not too sure, but nice quality. Each side of it, we have a pair of these great period Art Deco. Look at that, the two Art Deco ladies at the top. So we've got a mother of pearl inlay. Before we leave, look at this Harry's carpet. Big, large size, worn, but nice, nice carpet. Lots of marble sculptures in this cell, including this one, unsigned, but nice big size. We have it sitting on the dolly there. We're doing this preview early because we're heading off for a few days to annoy the dealers up in Brimfield. Anyway, up top here, this came from the same estate as that wonderful Batwoman that new, did nearly half a million. Beautiful bronze work, Art Nouveau with the face, slag glass, Tiffany style, beautiful clock but big size. Sitting atop a uh, Campo de Monte pedestal. This curry arrives, and just flick it past like that, quite rare. Little as is, but just nice to find. Okay, look at the main room. You have to come and preview this again. We have this Gibson. We have a lot of musical instruments. We have a Model B Steinway. We have the Gibson. I believe it's an SG Cherry Red. Can't open the case because I don't know the combo. It's sitting on top of a signed Silas Shondell table. Nice big size bronze with the indents on it signed underneath. Over here, this leather sofa with the chrome trim is, I believe, Toba Scarpia, maybe a Soriana sofa piece I like a lot in the sale. Love to have a pair, but glad to have one. This, I believe it's probably uh, James Mont, bronze archaic style. Look at the wood trim on it, both sides. You can have a single lamp or double lamp. More mid-century cabinets here. We have a violin with a silver wrap bow. In here we have a cello. Once again, go to the website. To the Smalls. Okay. Tiffany Studios. Nice little notepad and a wonderful jewelry box. Rare bottles. Bronze, nice bronze sculpture, small ones. You're gonna to have to go to the website for the names of this as we've been busy, busy, busy. Here, with a lot of clocks came out of an estate in New Rochelle, maybe 30 or 40 clocks. This one is Victorian. Atop here, we have Murano lamps, Art Deco lamps, bracket plop, clock. <laughs> a wonderful pair of gilt bronze footed candelabra, empire style. In here, we have this little bear look. I think if you twist this hair like the rest of us, his head will move. Nice large pair of Lalique France bookends. Glass vase, have to look up, clarkmy.com. We have this nice three-piece creamware set, I believe decorated in Holland. More Lalique down here, large Lalique, Murano glass. This is called the uh, Josephine lamp by Lalique there. Sev's lidded urns, 
more Lalique France up here. This is a nice little lot, all one lot. Nice collection of uh, enamel glass came from a dairy in Connecticut. We have pre-Columbian. We have this large pair of porcelain figures in the style of Meisen. And once again, have a quick glance. This is some of the clocks we have in the sale. So you're gonna have to hook onto the website to find them all. This set here, I believe is by Harvey Prober. Nice original condition from, uh, it's a, like tube end tables, a dresser from New Rochelle. Atop this, it's as is, I took it in because I thought it was pretty wonderful, but maybe it's not, but it's a Parker gone with the wind lamp. But look at the abalone shells and the, the bejeweling or bejapers as they say. Okay, here we've set of these uh, Corbusier chairs sitting around a uh, Herman Miller table. Nice contemporary pair of lamps on that. Wonderful pair of etagers. Couldn't think of that word for a while there. The etagers, nice dark glass. Here we have a pair of these mid-century chests. Nice to have a pair of these. Sitting in between them, haven't even had the chance to put it up online yet, but there's this Paul Frankel, signed John Stewart with the travertine top. Nice multi-drawer dresser. Pair of, have to look at this, Alex Escobar, sculptures on the top, good looking couple there. Okay, we have this X-frame desk. Nice, this is a lovely set of uh, Art Deco chairs came from Rye, but nice period look to them, nice sort of skyscrapery feel to them. Ebonized and blonde wood. Moving right along, this lamp is a very rare lamp. It's by a guy called Fister, I believe. Okay, we have some contemporary furniture, Maitland Smith, nice leather clad, Demi Loon. Sort of in the style of Nall's sofa and chair. Plenty of hardwood Asian furniture in the sale. This, this console here came from Greenwich, has a sort of Swedish feel to it, I would say, although it has thistles, maybe a couple of Scotsmen mingling with the Swedes. Here we have a wonderful little commode, maybe it could be used as a jewellery box, probably 19th century. Nice condition, some veneer loss, a pair of mixed metal lamps. Moving right along, we've got some French style furniture. This commode here is very nice, came from Rye, but nice probably 18th and 19th century, nice simple feel. Here we have, I would say, sort of a Venetian style figural console with the onyx top. This actually has a big mirror. I don't know where Nanny must have been running out of space for all the painting, so he doesn't have the mirror on top of it. Anyway, look at these two balloon forms. These balloon form sconces only came in the other day, but it got to be 36 inches high. Wonderful, nice bronze work on them. Rare to find a pair like that. Here, this Dore bronze mounted cabinet. Look at the wood on this. Wonderful patina, wonderful bronze work on it vitrine cabinet, nice with the marble inserts. Here we have a Baker dining room table from a local Larchmont estate. Nice set of, uh, I would say these are probably Italian Art Deco chairs. We've got Carlton desk use furniture. There's this, uh, this is quite a nice tea cart, unusual with the nice etched glass, nice big star etched in the middle of that there. Pair of contemporary mirrored cabinets. Then we have three of these large arts and crafts, sort of like yeah, when I was in front of the judges years ago, you'd be looking at them and these. Uh, anyway, these are, the woman who can sign these said she at night time would make her kids, depending on what they were up to, sit in the chair. So you have charity, brotherly love, and another one somewhere. And while we're on the mission mode, we have these. These are designed by Harvey Ellis originally, but they're by Stickley Audi. Nice oak arts and crafts set. I believe we have eight chairs, and then we have the Stickley Audi, uh, nice double pencil table, lots of leaves with it. So you won't have to go back, just cast a look at that wonderful Georgian cabinet over there. English, nice, uh, good age on it. Okay, here we have a nice pair of mid-century uh, benches. Not a pair, two in different sizes. Came from the same house as the uh, Harvey Prober. Here from Sutton Place, great period Art Deco console. Look at the slats on the side. Nice sort of uh, James Mont style table there with the skin top on it. Okay, here we have a very nice, lar extra large size, but great quality bronze. We're slightly darkening, darkening on the bronze, but nice patina and nice grain on the marble. Good size with the swan relief on them. Here we have, an, we have this is actually a uh, stickly style. It's, it's an original, it's not an audience. We couldn't find a signature, but a nice settle. Here, hardwood, beautiful altar table. Very nice with this uh, rim along here and the carving. Just beautiful patina, nice size. Art Deco table there. Here we have a Duchesse en Brise, probably period, nice 18th century, 18th and 19th century. 
Nice size and wonderful shape, ready to go into the house. Don't see them too often anymore. Mid-century chairs. Look at this chandelier with these little fellas looking down at you. Nice gilt bronze. We've got skeleton chandeliers. We've got Sputnik sconces. We've got mirrored bag-style console tables. We've got Danish modern pair of these chairs. Here's the match to that little pair inside. Nice dress with the mirrored top. This is an Art Deco bench. Look at the condition that came out of Sutton Place where no one sat on it. Over here, this here came from, this one came from Rye, that's my memory there, but look at the carving on the bottom of that, nice hard wood. This pair of horseshoe chairs, horseshoe back chairs where the two uh, sang the buffets are sitting are really nice. Look at the carving on the back of those, the fish. Good age, you can see the joints on them, nice patina, nice hard wood. This table here is hard to see with the uh, marble top on it, but the quality of this is very, this bag's quality. Look at the very heavy duty bronze in the back. And here we have from uh, West End Avenue, I have to show you these. First of all, they're called coiffes on des, des hommes. Vanity for men, that'd be good for you, Steve. Anyway, you pull this out, out come your two drawers. We have a pair of them, so you can bring loads of people to the house and share them. If we could close them, we'd be good. Okay. Over here, we're going right back over here. Now we'll bring you over this way. We're getting there. Now we have a nice mid-century tea cart. A pair of Baker hexagonal tables there. This steel and brass Z-shaped table, it's signed. Very nice, nice quality, but contemporary, but nice. We have a nice pair of these club chairs. Nice size, nice fabric on them. People seem to be veering back towards these club chairs again. There's one of the pair of cabinets. Nice Chippendale style cabinet, big Regency sideboard, overmantel mirror there, oak desk, set of six L and J Stickley signed, arts and craft chairs, nice set of six there, sort of stained and stuff, but nice, nice period set. We have this barrel top, uh, nearly looks Biedemeyer, but I believe it probably might be French. There's the movement there, it opens nice with the leather top, nice patina. Came from, came from Brogsville. We have this 20th century, but nice mahogany with the bonnet, the mirrored inside. And for our Scottish customers, we have this out of Glasgow. I know Glasgow well, nice with the egg lamise mirrored top and the steel face, wonderful patina with the string inlay. Quick glimpse into the back room. We have so much stuff here that my staff are slowly but surely threatening me that they're looking for a job with less stuff. So you'll see our nice 18th century cabinet, Italian cabinets, Regency etagères. We have this big, if you look at it around, it's sort of an aviation style mirror. We have this 19th century, it's refinished with a large mirror. Behind it we have this English chest on chest. We have this clock here, once again from the uh, New Rochelle collection of clocks, it has nine tubes. Okay. This mirror here is particularly nice. Big size, everything in that Rye house was nice. Nice with the urn and flowers and hand-painted Trumo style with the etch mirrors, but good big size. Atop a nice little council furniture, shirt and style out of here. Pair of bamboo foreign commodes. This is nicely signed, Arnie Jacobson, a real egg chair, probably from the 70s. Signed on the base of here. From Greenwich, we have this model B Steinway. You have to check it out. We haven't had anyone come in and say, it looks like it's been restored. We don't know who it's been restored by, but it looks pretty good. Seems to sound pretty good. But once we get the people coming in and telling us how it is, we'll be gladly that our customers know. This desk came from Rye. Beautiful bronze mounting, just nice with the burl walnut and the grain. Dome top there. Over here, oh, and I, oh, they're both here. Good, good. Okay, two important items in the sale are these coin-operated polyphone machines. See, they both work. Not even gonna turn them on for you here, but uh, that's because I just don't know how to, but there's a way to turn Oh, I need a coin. Anyway, they're both working in the house. We have that one, and then we have this little wall-mounted one. Each of them have extra discs. Just great condition. Look at the Victorian cabinet, ready to go. Takes the coin on the side. Lots of carpets in the calus, and you say, this stuff here is from the last sale, waiting to be picked up, because we're actually doing this video early. Look at this wonderful rosewood and chrome desk. With that, I look up in the air, we got chandeliers. I advise everyone to come and preview or go to our site, C-L-A-R-K-E-N-Y.com. 
previews Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Love to have you here, Sailing Sunday at 10am. Thank you for viewing, I'll hand you to the next appraisal.